Hi there YouTubers and this is Red Scouser 7799 with you once again another video with a review of a complete collection of mine uh, today I'm gonna be doing the Panini AXL Road to Euro 2016 so basically what Panini did is a collection with 24 teams that they thought they're gonna be in the Euros uh, this year so they did a collection for that uh, to be honest with you, um, I'm not really fond of those Road to World Cup or now Road to the Euro because you get so many teams in the collection that actually failed to reach the tournaments. So you end up having a collection with teams that are not there. Unless you are coming from that country, then you will have some cards from the players that you love and support. So... Once again, this collection came with a regular collection um, in Europe. This is the Polish edition. And of course, it's the same as the UK one, same as the German one. Just the packaging in different languages. And of course, there's the Nordic edition. Now, the Nordic edition for this collection in particular... It did not have an extra subset. Instead, it has a different team. In the Nordic edition, Denmark is included. In the regular edition, Bosnia is included. And funnily enough, both Denmark and Bosnia did not reach the Euros. But anyways, uh, I will show you both of them. I will show you, we'll go through the Nordic edition completely, then I'll go through the normal edition and I'll show you the Bosnian team. Just that way we'll be covering all bases. So the Nordic edition, basically what it came with, as you can see here, the binder, the game board, four packets, two limited edition cards and one double XL large card. Here is the play pitch, which is very similar to the Champions League and among other ones here on the cover we see that of course they've covered the big the big guns Ibra, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Costa, Courtois, Buffon, Hart and Manuel Neuer that's how it looks in the back all right here's the checklist and they've got Belgium, Czech Republic, Denmark, Germany, England, Spain, France, Greece Croatia, Republic of Ireland, Italy, Norway, Austria, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Finland, Sweden, Switzerland and Turkey. So out of these teams, I'm going to count them for you. One, two, three. Four, five six six teams out of those 24 i think they did yeah 24 teams six of them failed to reach the euros but panini i guess they want to get in as many teams as possible to make a big collection let's have a quick look at the subsets um they got a subset called lineup which is what we're going to see. It's a team made up of three cards. We've got one to watch. Rising Star. We've got Goal Stopper. Fans Favourites. Dynamo. Defensive Rock. Game Changers. Something to, similar to the Champions League. And the World Cup from Panini. The first one. First card in the collection. I should say this collection is 333. 333. All right. It's the first card, which is just like a present presentation of the tournament Rotier or something similar to the cover. Then we've got number two is the Euro 2016 poster. And then, of course, we do get the mascot, the official mascot. Here we go. Nice card. And then 
they've got a section to start with is the logos and the logos they're all the same with a black black round here we go as you can see here Denmark and the other one we're gonna see Bosnia alright continuing on here's all the logos alright Serbia, Finland, Slovenia Norway, Greece, all of them did not make it. All right, first team, Belgium. Each team consists of six teammates, regular cards, and three lineup. So the lineup card is basically the team picture. You put them all together, and it creates the team for you. Here we go. They did that for all the teams. Next, Czech Republic, then we've got Denmark, which is an exclusive to the Nordic edition section or region. All right, next, Germany, as you can see, all the teams, six teammates and three lineup. Here we go, Spain. France, then we've got Greece, who won in 2004, failed to qualify miserably. Croatia, with their lovely checkered shirts. Republic of Ireland, who played well against France and lost in the last 16. Italy, another team that played well in the Euros, lost on penos to Germany. Norway, lost in the playoffs to Hungary. With themselves did well in the Euros. Austria, really disappointed in the Euros. They couldn't even win one game. Poland, very good team. Very, very good team. Big team. Skillful team. And of course, you got Lewandowski. Here we go. The European champions. Portugal, as you will notice, a lot of these um, cards are with the old kits. So Portugal, no longer white. They had that greenish, bluish colour. So a lot of the teams have changed their home and away kits. Next, Romania. Then Russia. Slovenia. Neighbours Slovakia right beside them. Then we got Serbia. Then we get Finland. Sweden. Is Ibra. Of course, they've got to put him. Switzerland. And finally, Turkey. Now, this is basically all the teams. Now, we're going to look at the subsets. And the first subset is the one to watch. And one to watch basically is players. They're telling us to look for them. They're going to do well in the Euros. And, of course, who else but... Dimitri Payet, who did well for France in the Euros. As we can see here, the card with the France flag in the background and the map, the country. Lovely, lovely card. So he gets his control, his attack, his defence. Really lovely. So each team... Basically, got the flag behind them and the country and a map. So we got De Bruyne, Dorchal, Schöne or Schön from Denmark, Roy Sturridge, Pedro, Magidi, Kramerich, and of course Payet. Then carrying on, Odegaard, Okoti, Krikoviak, Kokorin, Marika, Ede. Here we go. They must have known something we don't. Panini. Euro Cup final scorer, winner, Edda. There he is for one to watch section. Well done, Panini. Tosic, Ekdal, and Shaheen. There we go. Next section. Lovely. It's a really, really boss. Boss. This one is the rising star. I really love the way they've done it. Let's have a look at Brozovic for Croatia and Inter Milan. Look at the background. Looks like a beehive. It's really lovely. 
design that they did not replicate for the Euros, which is really good. I really like this rising star subset. It's beautiful. Boss. All right. So we got Origi, Hoiberg, Ginter, Digne, who joined um, Barcelona, Alcacer, Sterling, Brozovic, Jaja, penalty miss, Joshua King, then Sabitzer, Milik, Carvalho, Oblak, Ozdoyev, Maxim, Forsberg, Ricardo Rodriguez, Ozjakob. I'm just going to show you Forsberg and look at the background. They did it in yellow, just like the team. Home shirt, lovely, beautiful colour coordination there. See, they did that for Sweden to match the colours, lovely. Next one is the Dynamo. Dynamic players, Defoe, Cruz, Milner, Kone, Matuidi, Koke, Perisic, Florenzi, Inan. Let's have a look at Perisic, who I thought had a really, really good Euros. So it gives you a map. A heat map, they call it, on where he is mostly on the pitch. And as you can see, he's everywhere, mostly on the right-hand side. Lovely. The Dynamo. Let's have a look. Florenzi for Italy. So that's a nine-card subset. Next, another nice one. It's the fans' favourite. And you guys know the fans' favourite. Favourite players, stuff like that. Let's have a look. Robbie Keane, again with the flag, country flag in the back. Want to watch, down here in gold. Love the design, different design than the rising star. It's really lovely that, alright. So we've got Schweini, Iniesta, Rosicki. Valbuena, Torosides, Serna, Alaba, De Rossi, Keen, then carrying on, we got Blajikowski, Moutinho, Rat, Kerzikov, Hamshik, Moisander, Olsen, Shakiri, Turan, lovely, yeah, it's going to show you, I like this one, I like the way Hamshik is celebrating, lovely card that, like the blue of his flag with the blue with his shirt, nice one, alright, carrying on, Goalkeepers, so here we go, goal stopper. You guys have all seen them before. This section is very popular with Panini. They like to cover the goalkeepers. And again, the goalkeepers got their like the stadium behind them. So let's have a look. Joe Hart with the red background of the stadium. Goal stopper here down the bottom left. It's flag, England, St. George's. Name, logo, lovely, lovely card, there we go. And let's have a look at Handanovic, Slovenia who did not qualify, a different background colour than Hart. See they all have different background, lovely that, very very good goalkeeper, Handanovic, I think he's with Inter Milan. I'm not mistaken. All right, next one, defensive rock, very very popular again with the Panini marketing team. They all look the same in the background. It's blue, Daniel Agger, ex Liverpool, Brunby, Denmark. When he went to Brunby, then I think he's retired now. Good luck to him. This is the defensive rock card. Really lovely again. Stadium in the background. So they've covered that pretty good. Again, nine card section. Subset. Next one. Another one with nine. And they call it the Game Changer. All right, Game Changer. Hazard, Gutze, Rooney, Modric, Pogba, Costa, Lewandowski, Ronaldo, and Ibrahimovic. So a lot of top-notch players in there. Let's have a look at Pogba, who's about to join... MU for a massive, massive amount of money. Will he produce? Nobody knows. Nice subset. Player profile picture down the bottom. Logo. 
bit of info. Here we go. Spogba. Robert Lewandowski. For all me Polish mates out there. Chest. Say to you. Here's European winner. Ronaldo. CR7 in the away shirt. And this covers it. All we have look all we have left to look at is limited editions. Here we go. Pogba, Benzema, Ibrahimovic, Gutze, Rooney, Noya, Pelo, Fabregas, Ronaldo. Let's have a look. Noya. It's a limited edition. Down here. Nice shine to it. And basically they are very similar in the way they did them, the background and all of that. Good stuff. Carrying on, got three more back here. We get Costa, Skillbred and Lewandowski. So nine, I've only collected nine. Couldn't be bothered with the rest of them. There's too many other things to collect and finish. So I just got 12 limited editions. All right, so we've done. The Nordic. Let's have a look at the regular one. Came with a poster. I'm going to show you the poster quickly. Here we go. All the teams down here. Second page. All the subsets. All right. You can checklist that. Lovely. I like those posters. Okay. So the front. Same thing, everything same, 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 after Belgium, instead of Czech Republic, we get Bosnia, so we get Begovic, Sunjic, Lulic, Ibisevic, Dzeko, Manjundin, and the Bosnian team, so Czech Republic team numbers are different, because they were here in the Nordic edition, now they've moved the page over, so Czech Republic got different numbers. Now I'm just going to show you the subsets, a different subset. I'll show you the Bosnian players. Here we go. This is Pjanic, who was with Roma. Lovely card. Again, the one to watch. He replaced a Danish guy. All right. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Besic, the Evertonian for a rising star. Here we go, and Besic replaced a Danish player, alright, let's carry on, see what else we've got, nothing in Dynamo, is there anything fans favourite, nothing in fans favourite, and the goalkeepers are basically the same, yeah, ah, oh, defensive rock, we get a defensive rock, Spahic, Replacing Daniel Aga. Here we go. The same. Same. Here I've, I've got more limited editions. Moisander, Odegaard and Puki. So I have 16. Alright. So... 16 limited edition cards not bad so this covers the one the regular edition here we go see uk germany austria turkey france switzerland russia and of course poland this about sums it up we've done the road to euro 2016 panini axl collection i hope you've all enjoyed this video don't forget to give it the thumbs up and your like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've forgotten to do so. Until then, Red Scouts are signing off. I'll see you once again in another video. Take care now. Ta-ra.